Okay guys, we're going over from the end of the road that I just came out of. And I think there's a car, yeah. There's a truck coming behind me, so I'm gonna pull over and let that truck go around. So we can just ride slow. enjoy our ride. Connie, are you watching? You know where I'm at, girl. This is your old stomping ground. Y'all, before all those trees right there grew up, Man, you could see for miles and miles coming off this hill. You could see for a long way. <clears throat> it's a beautiful day for a ride. seven miles from here to Mount Enterprise and about 15 miles to Nacogdoches. So, you know, I'm, I'm not too far from, from civilization. And I still have a lot of friends that live out this way. Probably more that live out here than live in Nac. Although I went to school in Nacogdoches, but I raised my son for 20 years in, uh, in this area. So I still know a lot of people, and uh, our my preacher that preaches at my church, he lives right down here, not too far. It's where he, him and his wife live. Um, he's from over in Garrison, but his wife, his wife's parents, before she was born, was my neighbors. When I lived out here. I've always liked this area. My son loves it out here too. It, it, there's electricity, but you have to have a water well. I don't think there's any city water. Have to have a water well dug or haul your water in in tanks. And I know a lot of the uh, deer camps out here, they just haul water in in tanks for the weekend right here to the left when I turned and went back when we turned around at that Beach Creek bottom in the other video that's where the road come out right there so that's a lot longer dirt road than the way I come back They got a washout right there real bad, too. I know down uh, south of Nacogdoches, the little communities, they have a lot of roads uh, closed because it washed the whole road out. It eroded under the whole uh, highway. Okay, I'm only going like 15 and 20 miles an hour. So we've gone four minutes and from this pavement right here, it's a mile and a half. It's a mile and a half to my house. I used to walk this strip right here. From that oil top, I walked down a mile and a half and I turned around and walked back a mile and a half. Sometimes I did this twice a day with my neighbor out here. But my son just bought 21 acres up here on the right. And that's a nice little creek right there. He used to take
take him fishing and swimming right there when he was a kid. Then he used to bring his daughter out here, my granddaughter. Sorry if y'all hear that noise. The window is down in the back for the dogs. So you might be hearing like a helicopter sound. If you do, I apologize, but I'm trying to keep Mr. Sir Nuggets happy. We need to keep him happy. Oh, look at the squirrels. Don't run in front of the car. Good, they went the other way. But one of my dear friends used to live right here on the left. And uh, he passed away. And then his, this land right here to the left, that's my son's. That's my son's hay meadow. Right there. And then right around this corner, I'll show y'all my old house. So see, we're six minutes and I'm driving, like I said, 15 and 20 miles an hour. So see, that's real, that place back there is real close to where I lived for, uh, I lived in this house for 17 years. I guess 18 years but I walked all the way from back there up this hill y'all every day even when I was pregnant can you imagine he said that's why I was only in labor three hours this house right here to the right that was my brother-in-law and sister-in-law's house that house and then this house was my old house this brick house that's my old house where I raised my son and had my first salon. There's my old neighbor. He's out mowing with the mask on. There's, that's Mr. Michael. Mr. Michael. They were much better than my first husband. Let me put it that way. They treated me really good. They, these people couldn't have treated me no better, y'all. My mom was kind of jealous of our relationship, but uh, they were just good people, and they treated me good, and I treated them as good as I could. And then my son was their first grandchild, so, you know, he was a tad bit spoiled. They spoiled him a little bit. But I miss them people, let me tell you. We've had many a day of fishing and sitting and talking. and uh, But that's their grave right there on the right side of the cemetery where those pink flowers are. Had many, many good times with them, I'm going to tell you. Those people were good to me. And even after she passed, he came. We were divorced by then, but uh, my ex and his dad came to my house with my son for Thanksgiving and Christmas and whatever else. I did it for the kids. Uh, that way my son could see his dad and my granddaughter could see her grandpa and her great-grandpa. And You know, you, you do what you, you do what you gotta do, you know. It made, it made the kids' life much easier for me to suck it up and let them come over. I'm not around, uh, I'm not around his dad anymore, but uh, it is what it is. I don't wish no harm on nobody. I got a good life, and I just enjoy my life like it is. Anyway, thanks for riding along. Y'all be blessed. Know you're loved. Jesus loves you more, and we'll see y'all in the next video.